chances are if you live in Maryland, you've seen a snake in the wild or you will. Here's something you might not know. Snakes are protected. It's against the law to kill them. There are 27 species of snakes in Maryland, including two that are venomous. Those two, the timber rattlesnake and the copperhead, yes, they're protected too. I'm a wildlife ecologist with the Department of Natural Resources. Right here in Maryland, I do a, a variety of things from public education to uh, applied research to conservation efforts, habitat management, um, pretty much the gamut. work with snakes as part of my job as well as frogs and you know lizards, the whole, the whole gamut. Okay, now you're aware that some people might not find them warm and cuddly, right? Snakes? Oh, yeah. oh yes. You know, if you're concerned something might be venomous and, and could cause you harm or your, your family or your pets harm, um, and you're not knowledgeable about how to identify them, then you're going to fear them. And, of course, there's been a history of persecution of snakes through their history. But I think if, um, I mean, we only have 27 species of snakes in Maryland, and if you come to know them and understand the, the amazing diversity of, of how they look, what they do, I and mean, we have snakes that specialize in eels, snakes that specialize on toads, snakes that specialize on spiders, um, you know, from, from the beautiful to the, to the drab. And when you, when you, you know, kind of learn a little bit more about them, you understand that they're just part of nature just as much as a chipmunk is, as a Baltimore Oriole is, um, as a blue crab is. So they're, they're just part of the web of life out there. They're part of, uh, you know, um, food webs, of energy webs, um, you know, there's a, a historic case of uh, a published study, actually, of out in Texas at Big Bend uh, National Park and National Monument, where there had been a lot of illegal collecting of snakes um, at night for the pet tra for the legal and illegal pet trade. They decimated the snake population there, and suddenly the the rodent population exploded, which then caused a lot of uh, decimation of vegetation there. So. There is a, a, you know, they're all inter interlinked, and if things get out of balance, the whole environment gets out of balance. Snakes are protected up to a point. You certainly can't kill them. Uh, since 1993, we passed, uh, Department of Natural Resources passed regulations make it illegally to intentionally kill snakes. We prefer that people um, think about the snake first, uh, you know, try to remain calm in a situation where maybe it's not easy to be calm, and, and uh, think about that snake is also a, a sentient, well, it's, it's, it's a life form that, that deserves protection. This, this snake is actually from the wild. It was part of a seizure of an, uh, this is part of a federal um, and state uh, joint effort uh, where a person was coming to Maryland and North Carolina and collect, illegally collecting snakes and bringing them up to Connecticut and, and selling them. And this was, this is an animal that was uh, taken um, from the wild by this person and was seized as part of an investigation. And the person was actually, um, uh, there was a court case and he was convicted in uh, Connecticut, a uh, court in Connecticut last year. And one of our officers uh, who just retired, uh, Michael Latham, um, was uh, was involved in that. It was called Operation Kingsnake. Donna Cole, WNAV News.